Hello guys, welcome back. We're going to be looking at the clutch today. Uh, I wasn't sure if you'd seen the video of me going over to my friend Jeff's, but the clutch was slipping pretty badly. So I'm going to open this cover here and hopefully there's no oil in the clutch housing because I have already replaced um, the seal that goes between the two bushes in the clutch sprocket and also the main seal. So if there's oil in here, that's not a great sign. Um, the other thing is at the handlebar, you may have seen I was trying to adjust the clutch at the handlebar. We're at full adjustment here and this is a brand new cable. So um, that suggests there may be some adjustment that can be done inside here. Um, I'm hopeful that's what it is. If not, we have a bit of a situation that we need to deal with. All right, let's take a look. So there's some oil, um, but I'm not sure if that's come out of the clutch housing or around the cover. And then similarly, oil here as well. So not the best sign. Uh, what I think I will do though is there's some adjustment left here. I think I'm going to adjust this first of all, then I'll dig further into the clutch. I'll take this all apart and start looking at the plates and the shoes. So now that's everything tightened back up to the default settings with the new cable. Uh, but what that's done now is it's left all this slack cable here at the lever. And so hopefully we can adjust that down inside the clutch housing. So as you just saw, I'm at the end of the adjustment. The adjuster pins all the way in and yet I still have too much slack in the cable at the lever, the handlebar. So I'm gonna take the clutch apart, take a look, take a look at the shoes and also um, the plate, see if there's any oil on either of those. And then also the push rod as well. I'll take a look at the push rod. Uh, it's possible that I might have to cut it, insert a ball bearing, just to give it a little bit more length to allow this adjustment to be more effective. I think there's oil. Yeah, 
that soil on there. Okay. Well, unfortunately, I think I can say pretty confidently that it's oil that caused the slipping. There's a film of oil on the shoes and I had put gasket cement in here, but when I reach in there, it's pretty wet with oil. Um, let's just check on this side. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's what's happening. So, what? Well, yeah, there's quite a bit of oil there. So what I might do is just give this a clean, clean it up, dry it off, put a liberal coat, um, another liberal coat of the gasket maker inside here on the splines before it goes back on the shaft. Uh, try again, clean these all up, dry them off. Um, see if this is going to make it a little bit better. If not, we might have to consider other options. I thought what I might do is insert a 6mm ball bearing, uh, cut this push rod, insert the ball bearing into here, into the uh, inside of the shaft. And then I realised uh, I have an old push rod from my Norton Commando that measures exactly 6mm. So I'm going to cut a little length of this push rod and insert it in between the two, essentially the halves of the push rod here and then that fit that back in. I don't know if you can see that, but there's quite a lot of gasket cement packed in back there. So hopefully that will hold the oil at bay.